Hello, Lucas. Goodbye, Gabby. <laughs> Ugh. Our podcast is two seconds long. <laughs> yeah. And we're done. We're wrapped yep. up. I think like Benny Feldman told us that he did something similar. Like he did a like a 15 second podcast and it was like every day. Oh, was it wasn't it the 69 second 69 podcast? 69 second podcast. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah he did yeah, a yeah. 69 second podcast. 69. Nice. Yes. Um yeah. make sure you put your little mouth by the microphone. Oh, sorry. That's so okay. you're you're judging yourself up. I bite my lips a lot, so I use a lip kit. <laughs> yeah. Really? Oh, really? You bite what? Is it what? an anxiety thing? What did your lips do to you? What what happened to you? What happened to you that you bite your lips? Oh Sabrina, yeah. what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Sabrina, what happened to you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I know we usually do. We There's one segment that we do at the end. It's so cozy. <laughs> and I'm, you look so cozy. You do. I like this velvety one. <laughs> Lucas, I know we usually do a cold open, and then yeah. we do this one segment at the end that involves like perception. Are we yada shaking yada. it up today? Are we shaking up the? I, I the think format? we do need to shake it up because I have something to say to our guests. Oh, okay. Well, before you say what you say to our guests, I think it's important that we say welcome to Two Noisy Meerkats podcast. Fine. But say exactly what you want to say now. No introduction for the guests, though. No introduction. <laughs> Oh, we can introduce our guest. She's an amazing comic. Do we need to? Uh, eh. Fine. Eh. You know what? Say what you need to say. <laughs> say what you need to say. <laughs> say what you need to say. We, okay, well, let's give, let's give a brief introduction. A brief introduction. Not that we do anything really lengthy with anyone, but we will say, uh, co-producer of the Sid and Sabrina show, we've had the wonderful Sid King on. We have yeah. the uh, other half, dare I say, better half of the duo. Oh, Darker. get her ass. Get Dark? <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> Your words, not mine. <laughs> the wonderful. I didn't notice. Oh. <laughs> I, I didn't flag that. Yeah, what? <laughs> yeah. The wonderful, wonderful, hilarious comedian, Sabrina Robinson. Hell yeah. Hey, guys. Welcome. And I have, a, I have something to say. So one thing I have to tell you is the first time I hung out with you one-on-one, -on -one, you ordered a Nervous. whiskey on the rocks. Hell yeah. And then I asked you what you were doing that night. And you were like, oh, I'm so tired. I feel like I just have to kick back, relax, and watch it. There will be blood. Is that what <laughs> That's I what said? you said. That's what you said as your relaxation thing. <laughs> that you were going to watch sounds it. Right. hilarious. <laughs> the whiskey makes that, that tracks. I was like, I got to know this girl. <laughs> I got to know this girl. Okay, yeah, I weird. need I need the full lowdown on your thought process in saying that, if you well, can remember. Well, I never get, like, whiskey, really, but I remember a friend telling me it's good when you're cold, and I was cold because <laughs> it was, like, later at night. Yeah, and I had yeah a it was kind of a chilly night. Yeah. So I was okay. like, I'm going to get a scotch whiskey like a gentleman. <laughs> 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 so I got it, and immediately was like, this is, whoa. But it did warm me it up. around, you grew a monocle, I remember. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Monocle, I, I, think you, I think you'd look good with a monocle. I think so too. I always wanted a pocket watch when I was a kid. So. Did you? Oh, yeah. With oh, a little chain? That. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You'd I asked you... my dad too, and he was like, Are you a lesbian now? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> you know those thing? lesbos with our pocket watches. Hey, how, how do you guys identify each other without? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> yeah, it's not about nails. It's not about hair. It's all about do you have the pocket, pocket watch, watch or don't you? Yeah. 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 Fair. It's true. It's more of a certification, <laughs> like forklifts, than it is a sexuality. Like right. forklifts. <laughs> Forklift. Yeah. Do you have you driven one? Oh uh, no, but it's on the bucket list. <laughs> it's totally. <laughs> it's on to move pallets and shit, you know. Yeah. yeah pallets are crazy. I I couldn't believe when I first heard about a pallet. I was like, that's how they do that. Yeah. <laughs> Technology. Technology. Wood. Wood. I, I remember like looking at like uh looking down at like the midsection of a pallet. How mm. it's like you can pick it up from any angle. I was like, right. this is such a good idea. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So was, simple, yeah. but so ingenious. It's so good. good yeah. Palettes. Good on the palette inventor. <laughs> good on the palette. Good on you the deserve palette a cookie. And good on the palette. Oh. <laughs> but, um, but, um, just oh. like a little whiskey and a little there will be blood. Right, the dare. Right. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> what is it about the movie? It's 
I don't know. I like the weird music in it. Mm-hmm. I, I like P.T. Anderson. And I got into him. Honestly, I didn't know who Paul Thomas Anderson was until I was randomly reading an article that like popped up. And it was about Maya Rudolph. <laughs> and, like, who is his right. yeah, kind of his... wifey? Like, I think the kinda, title. Are they not married? Exactly. They are married, yes. No, not officially. They don't have, like, the title. So that was oh. the article. And that's why but I clicked on like, it. But they've, like, been together for ages. They exactly. Have, like, they got, like, four yeah, kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I clicked on it. And he was like, she's not really married to her husband, Paul Tom Sanders. So I was like, who's this white guy? So then I clicked on him. <laughs> and then I went down a rabbit hole. Like, oh, yeah. that's the guy with the intense movies. And I remember there was some point where every white guy was like, oh, they will be blind. It's so great. Oh. So then I watched it. And then I was like, yeah, this is pretty good. And then sometimes I just put it on when I like just want something on the background that's like deep. I love weird. So <laughs> when I put things on in the background, I want whatever is the shallowest thing. Right. Like mm. this morning for me was Seinfeld. Well, which is isn't yeah. like shallow, but yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. something it's I'm familiar nothing. with. It's, yeah, it's shallow. <laughs> I Can you imagine God. Seinfeld and there will be blood? <laughs> 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 What's the deal with oil? <laughs> We're What's calling it a with war, the- Jerry. <laughs> Whoa, all this oil. I mean, come on. <laughs> I'm getting crazy. played by Daniel Day Lewis, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, Kramer could be Daniel Day Lewis. Feel like they're tall, white yeah, sure. with noses. I found yeah. a, I found a something interesting about Daniel Day Lewis. I'm not sure if it was in There Will Be Blood or Gangs of New York, but there's a movie where his character has a glass eye. Gangs of New York. Gangs of New York, and he put on a contact on his eye so he could tap it with a knife. He legit taps his eyeball yeah. with a knife. He's intense. I'm like, that's two method. Yeah. That, that this is that, I'm no. You <laughs> could not pay me. Seriously. You could not pay me to do that. He's intense. Could could you be paid enough to do anything similar? No, I want my eye. Yeah. yeah. I don't even know how to put on a contact. I don't yeah, wear glasses. Too. No. Yeah, I don't In a glass one. I, I, like, I, I wear glasses sometimes. I would never wear contacts. I, I'm never wearing contacts. I don't think I, no. Especially when there's little knives in them. Right? Yeah. yeah, I can't. That's when you know white men are bored sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> You're just like, you know what? I need to spice up my day. Uh, that's, glass. Wait, that's an amazing angle. When you angle, don't have like, any problems, you got to make them up. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got to make them up for sure. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> he, really, he really is hilarious. This man is too unencumbered. Seriously. Yeah. His first movie or something where he won an Oscar for it, he was played someone with cere- cerebral palsy. Yeah, 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 yeah. My left foot. Yeah, he had people carrying him around. Like, he really, even when they weren't shooting, was like, I have cerebral palsy, I can't walk. Can you imagine, like, a black actor doing that? They'd no, like, get no. your black ass up. <laughs> 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 carrying you around. <laughs> Viola oh, Davis, yeah. Seriously, like Denzel Watch could be like, I want to do this. They'd be like, get your blood guys up. Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's go. It is true do. that like only white guys can be method actors. Or even attempt to do I have never heard of like a black or any sort of like actor of color ever attempting to do that. Right. There are no stories about that. And maybe we're just not thinking about it. Maybe we should. Maybe we should try doing method acting and see how that takes. Who would be the funniest? female or like non-binary or, or black actor to become method overnight the funniest do you think like the fu- like <laughs> it would be like the most insane to think about them like suddenly being method i have an answer oh, in my I, head. I have okay <laughs> if you have an answer of someone but i have i have an answer of someone who i actually don't think it would be insane like if they did i'll be like no i, I could like i think I donald that. glover if he went oh, really yeah. method i would be yeah. like i could see that from the This Is America music video, I'm like, this guy's got a little crazy in him. He, oh, like, yeah. my <laughs> God, I know. I thought he looked good in that no, video. No, amazing. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, I it's a never, great music video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and let go to be like dancing like that in front of people. <laughs> yeah. I love your idea. Like, it looks jam where it's like, it's a deep me. <laughs> right? It's a fun song. Yeah. I'm so pretty. Oh, what's what's your answer, though? It. What's your answer? Aquafina. <laughs> <laughs> She'd be great. She'd be we Aquafina, she's method acting. Yep. She can method act until like I, I don't even know, like a, a white guy probably. Yeah. <laughs> She'd crush it. <laughs> yeah, she would crush it. Like, she's you been method what? acting as a black woman from Queens for a oh, while. Oh shit! Ew. 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 <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. If you lived in Queens between the era of like 2000 and 2005. Everyone just had a black scent. I'm not saying it's Here's okay. I'm just saying like Here's that is what happened. I saw I, yes, but at the same time, I remember seeing a video of like 
then again, this is also this just goes to show like how little research I do. But I remember <laughs> seeing a video of an Asian American person from that area of Queens who said no one from this area talks like that. Oh, is it really? She and she said that she was like, this is heavily put on. Where oh. is that you from? Sunset Park? No, that's no, that's in Brooklyn. Sunset Park oh, is in Brooklyn. Right. Oh my god, you're I'm asking so the bad. wrong person. Oh, yeah, no, she's from. Kew Gardens. Kew Gardens. Kew and Gardens. Sunnyside. Sunnyside. Oh, yeah. maybe, maybe, maybe. Sunny, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That sounds right. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, that's funny. Can you think of someone who uh, like a a person of color who uh, if they went truly method like Daniel Day Lewis, like poking your eyeball with a knife level where it would be like, what the hell? Yeah. Uh, it's an interesting question. It really yeah. is an interesting question. I'm trying to think of like comics who are kind of actors who could do mm. that. Like. He's white, but I feel like Sebastian Maniscalco would be hilarious. At oh, it. That, that would be so hilarious. Funny. Yeah. Uh, Method Italians. acting as someone who loves his wife. <laughs> Wait, what's the T on that? What? All of his Netflix specials are just like, my wife, she's crazy. I haven't even watched that yeah, many. Okay. I he usually just... don't think he does. I think he does more like, my wife's family is crazy. That's amazing. That's so good. <laughs> Let yeah. me tell you. I don't think, I don't think he my does. Wife. I Let haven't me heard tell him. you about my wife's family. What's wrong with people? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so into impressions now. I was watching the Bill Burr thing, and he did yeah. a Sean Connery one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what? Oh, I haven't heard him do that. Oh, I need to see that. It's just a few <laughs> lines. Like, I saw Pete words, Davidson's hilarious. impression of Bill Burr. I didn't that see that one. Because I saw, like, Pete Davidson had, like, a Pete Davidson and Friends thing on, like, Netflix. And you watch that. And, um... It was pretty fun, but he does a joke about how um, he's friends with Jack Harlow and Jack Harlow mm -hmm. did a song with Kanye West and Pete gets asked, does that bother you? And he's like, no, Jack Harlow is a rapper. This is his business. Of course, he's going to do a song with Kanye West. That's his business. He said it would be weird if Bill Burr went to Sunday service, though. <laughs> Like, sorry, weird. Pete, had to go there. So I, I can't remember what he said, but he does an impression of Bill Burr. I was like, it's not bad. Just yelling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Listen up, yeah. That would be a scene to him at a yeah. Sunday service. But <laughs> I do think that's also my impression of everyone. Just yeah. any celebrity. Just yelling. Give me a celebrity. <laughs> um, Maya Rudolph. Yeah. <laughs> how she sounds that's what she does yeah my dad was my dad now loves to tell me about new shows like on streaming channels to watch and he was like you gotta watch loot it's really funny it's on apple tv and it's Wait, a what? maya rudolph thing loot l-o-o-t oh. she's like that she's like, rich she's like that billionaire right yeah and yeah. like extra about it and were like, you upset lucas it. because that almost fell off the coaster furious it definitely okay, did concern you oh it did oh, i'm a big coaster person too <laughs> oh yeah my mom drilled it into me Really? Moms, oh, yeah. moms, <laughs> moms well, and their do. coasters. They be and, drilling. And their pocket watches. They be drilling. <laughs> Mothers be drilling. Maybe that's why you love There Will Be Blood. There you go. Because <laughs> <laughs> no one can stop drilling. Yeah. So did you watch Loot? No, I didn't watch Loot yet. My dad okay. just told me that like, last week. He's adorable. That. He mm. told me to watch you the new Chappelle one, which I thought was good. The speech. He I was. watched that. It mm -hmm. was it was a pretty good speech. Yeah, I really liked it. It was cute when he talks about like his school days. Yeah, oh. yeah. And yeah. people talk about when they were younger. I like yeah, that. Too. I love it. Had collagen I, in their face and stuff. I loved watching Inside the Actors Studio growing up. I Ooh. loved hearing people's origin stories. I ate that up. Yeah, loved I did like that too. So much. To be fair, I only found out about the Actors Studio after seeing Will Ferrell do it. On SNL. Oh, yeah. And I was like, what is this? And then I went back and was like, oh, this, yeah. is, oh, this is like a real thing. Yeah. Dave Chappelle's interview on uh, Inside the Actor's Studio, that's one of my favorite episodes of all time. Is it on somewhere where you can just like watch You could probably find it on YouTube. YouTube. I ripped it from YouTube. I bootlegged it so I could keep it. Uh, You're admitting I went, to a crime. Hey, I don't know what that means anymore. I, I, I live wire? on the edge. I, I was going to say Frostwire, LimeWire. Frostwire, LimeWire. Yeah. All that shit. The kids these days, they don't know. Yeah, they don't they know don't the know struggle. About lime wire. Oh my god, if I want a song. I never use LimeWire. What'd you use? Just uh, I use I just use like YouTube to MP3 con song converters. Mm. That's is that more high level? That sounds very no. technical. <laughs> LimeWire I think was a little earlier than that. Because yeah. Because converters were like yeah, YouTube I, know the I think converting. only came out in like 05 or 06. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, I was but definitely LimeWire, that like, was like very yeah, early Spice 2000s. Spice Girls too. earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Before my time. Did Can you I have a favorite Spice Girl? Oh, okay. I love this question because I feel like, okay, so 
at the heart, it was um, Sporty Spice. Sure. That's okay. the one. And then I feel like as you get older, you're like that Mel- embarrassed no. about your choice sorry, or something. I was thinking Mel B. That's scary. No, spice. yeah. Mine yeah. was Mel C. Mel C. Okay. Which yeah. makes sense. I like sporty stuff. Sporty stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're going to some batting cages later. Exactly. Yeah. And I remember you used to, <laughs> even if you were in a group of girls and you wanted to play the Spice Girls, everyone would pick and people would hate being like Posh Spice. Aww. For some yeah. reason, that was the most unpopular choice. She's the choice. only one that couldn't sing. Yeah, but she's Oof. like probably the most successful one. She's the definitely the, the most yeah. famous <laughs> one now. Yeah. She's like, fuck singing. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't got need the this. football play. <laughs> it's too bad not in, in like not every band that that ha- like. Sorry, I don't know how to speak English, but yeah. you know Louis Tomlinson from One Direction. I've heard of her work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Don't misgender him. I, I'm sorry. No, I, yeah, I, I know. He Louis, can't sing. Louis is the one who had a baby first, right? I don't know. Does yeah, he sort of have like a very sort of sorry pointy face? Yeah, he has yeah, yeah, very yeah. Alpine pointy features. Yeah. yeah, alpine. Do you say alpine? Yeah. What? Or what is it called when they say like a bird? Am I thinking of something? Avian. Else? Avian. <laughs> hate alpine I actually really liked it i was hoping it was a real thing because i'm gonna start saying it i think alpine? it is a real thing but it just doesn't mean what i think it means or does Wait, it mean what? aryan <laughs> no. avian or aryan? i absolutely do not mean aryan <laughs> they can be pointy faced hold on hold on Niall i'm Horn is the word right there. alpine <laughs> alpine features <laughs> i was like they have branches Alpine is like that's like people that live in like Alpine Switzerland meaning. in northern Italy. That's like I don't think of that as like a, <laughs> a look though. Relating to high mountains, okay? yeah, so it's definitely. <laughs> it's like, I'm saying it. It's I love that. Definitely not what I meant. Yeah, <laughs> Alpine. Oh, Al- <laughs> I get know, it. You know, there are mountains where pointy How does it face feel knowing are? you're like less than two people have ever said that? Um, I Special. feel like a, a trailblazer. Yeah, I, I feel like this is how Lewis and Clark. Must have felt. Remember Louis that and word. Clark. Louis yeah. and Clark. <laughs> can I can I tell you that um, when I was nineteen, I was uh, dating someone that when we were like first started like texting, we were like riffing, talking about the Spice Girls, and I like jokingly said that I was gonna watch the Spice Girls movie because she watched it when she was a kid. The best movie ever. And then I actually tried watching it. But I got like 20 minutes in and it was physically painful. No. <laughs> no. Spice don't World is say good. That. Spice but World here's is the good. Thing. The thing is like I started I saw the trailer for it and I saw a lot of like cameos from like actors and people that I knew. I was like, wait, I kind of want to see this now. Uh-huh. And then like 20 minutes in, I was like, this is I'm going to lose an organ if I watch the rest of this. And then I told her that I got 20 minutes in. She was like, wait, you actually tried watching it? She was like, I'm impressed. I was like, I mean, thanks. And so, yeah. Oh, the That's worst thing sweet. is, I feel like if I watch it again today, I may have the same reaction. So I don't want I to know. watch it. You I want to live with the memory. The nostalgia. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Like Chuck E. Cheese. I had such good times there, but I never want to see one. <laughs> it's probably disgusting. <laughs> they have see one how he's at, doing? Uh, they have one at Barclays Center. Yeah, I went oh, there. Right, like, they do. I went there for a birthday when I was little. Stop. Yeah, That's I went adorable. there. Horrible. A New York City Chuck E. Cheese. I genuinely as a Jersey cannot girl, imagine. I can't yeah, imagine. No it. way. Wait, have you been to a Chuck E. Cheese? I have. No, well, I didn't have like a child by the time that Chuck E. Cheese at Barclays opened. You didn't have what? a child. You can only get in if you have a child, or you are a child. Yeah. And I wasn't Were a child, you... and I didn't have a child. <laughs> Sorry, I'm speaking like this. I got child. confused too. I was like, wait, no. <laughs> Okay, let's just okay. I want to make something very clear. I was not asking if Gabby has a child. I was asking if you went as a child. child. She's like, all right, sorry. sorry, sorry. How could anyone? I am loving this so much. I I love you. You asked if I had been to Chuck E. Cheese, and my answer was, I've never been pregnant. He cannot pull exactly. If you sum it up, that's exactly what just happened. Ooh. <laughs> Have you ever been to a Chuck E. Cheese? No. Okay. Where are you from again? No, I'm from oh, New York. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. What? Brooklyn? Oh, uh, Manhattan. Yeah. Was, yeah, there probably wasn't one. There I guess. wasn't one in Manhattan. You would have no. had to go to New Jersey yeah. and you'd be like, yeah. no. No. <laughs> no. In they California, couldn't... when I was, I used to go to California when I was little to visit family, and oh. I would go to like this knockoff Chuck E. Cheese called Rocky and Bullwinkle. Was not the same. Like the cartoon? Yes. That sounds more fun. I want to go to that. I wonder Rocky if it's still open. Bo- I'm going to Google this right after. It's only a six hour flight. We should just go after this. Skip the bad again. California. Yeah. It's so far to still be in the same fucking country. Yeah. <laughs> it is bad. And it's like it dusty. Is. I don't know. It is. A, 
Genuinely, it is a crazy thing when you think about just how vast of a country ours is. Manifest destiny, man. <laughs> it really is. Yeah. It's all ours. It's not okay. God yeah. said. Hey. It's all about the time zones. Mm -hmm. How many time zones can you rack up in one country? Listen, Jesus died so we could conquer the land. You know, that's mm -hmm. uh, that's what it is. That's what, uh, Billionaire mindset. What he said. As many yeah. time zones as possible. Grind set. Grind <laughs> set. Yeah. Oh, this is Perfect. awful. Um... <laughs> Wait, so yeah, so you, you are you, you are darker than Sid King. Let's get back to what's important. Yeah. Oh yeah, was that still the intro? I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> I guess we we got a little. I guess we got a little off topic. I didn't I mean, do yeah. that. I like branch. Oh me it's too. Okay. Me it's too. okay. It's so okay. Do you do you also have ADHD like we think we both do? I don't know. See, this is a new thing for Black people too. It's yeah. like we mm. skipped the part where you would get tested because it didn't exist. Right. <laughs> yes. So now it's like. People are asking that question. You're like, well, I'm in my 30s. Is it weird now to try to get that Not tested? weird at all. I know people that are like getting diagnosed with like, I know that like Amy Schumer's husband got diagnosed with autism while they were together in their 30s at the earliest. Holy shit. See, then how do you even, like what point do you have shit to be happened. like, I want to yeah. get this test done yeah. <laughs> as a grown adult? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, Ugh. and then where do you go? You it's go to. I started talking with my therapist about, um, potentially like getting a test and she sent me like an online sort of like introductory not like an official mm. diagnosis um thing but it was like it's a pretty good indicator of like if you are so and so i got i did one for adhd and it said you have a moderate likelihood i hate I the word like, moderate i hate it too <laughs> I hate it, yeah it's so all-encompassing i'm like I what know. does that mean yeah Jeez. It's like you might or you might not. Can you send me that after this? I can send you it. Yes. I can send, send me the you link. <laughs> I, I think I for sh like no question in my mind have it. So what is that one? You you move a lot. ADHD? Difficulty and ADD. Uh, it's ADD I think is synonymous with ADHD. Attention okay. deficit disorder. Attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. I, I think, think they stand ADHD for. is slightly different, but I don't know how it's different. I think it's like ADHD is a more modern word as well. Okay. All I know is that when I'm watching like TV or something, like I can't, I switch between the channels so often. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yeah. is this normal? I use like fidget toys now. Uh, it actually really oh, yeah. helps me. I fidget with my hair too much. That helps me though. But I totally yeah. believe it's tactile. It yeah, it's like a different stream of uh, processing. Yeah, I guess. Processing. You know, mm. we're all just big old computers in the end. We are trying to get through life, man. Man, we're trying to process so hard. <laughs> we're no, like we're a seventies movie. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> no, I refuse. You got a ram issue. <laughs> oh, I've got an issue ramming. <laughs> Oh my god. Ditto. Oh. <laughs> I just walk out of here, leave you yeah. to it. Yeah, I was planning on to having a hot girl summer, but I'm not that interested in ramming. Oh. Yeah, no, no, ramming. Yeah. It's too hot to ram. It's way too hot to ram. What did, did you, you say? I said? I said you need to practice with your strap on. I think that's what it means. Oh, oh yeah. Well, yeah. you know what? Joke's on you because I don't always know how to put it on. <laughs> yeah, was it Velcro or buckles? Velcro! <laughs> I know lace ups. <laughs> that would take so long. It's like a corset yeah. for your pelvis. It's just One like of those uh, really complicated harness things. Yeah. Sometimes it's hard to figure out all the mechanisms. So you step into it. Yes. Stop <laughs> it. Oh my god. But then you have to like adjust it to your hips, and I can't always like. I just have such a hard time. It's a kid seat. It's yeah, like... yeah. <laughs> it's a booster seat with the stripes. <laughs> Oh That's my god! Awesome. Yeah, I need a booster seat. What if I said that oh. to my girlfriend? I was like, "Can we get a booster Babe, seat?" We need a booster seat. Yeah. Wait, short. have you used one? What a Ever? booster seat? <laughs> Strap on. Let me just. She's like, again, I do not have a child. Sure, but again, I'm not very good at it. Everybody, I'm sorry. Everybody thinks lesbians are so good at everything related to sex, but sometimes we're not so good. Wait, no one thought that. <laughs> Well, you just hear it in the media. You hear it in the news stuff. You're what like, are we hearing? Media. What do we hear in the about? You hear the you know you, the people are like, oh, like <laughs> lesbians are always doing so much sex. I thought that was the guy gaze. Uh, maybe it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I thought it's we the thought lesbians gaze. were just Wait, like. Are you are you are you out. saying you guys don't bang? I thought I thought you guys were cool. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, we we're not cool, but we do bang. We bang in a way that's, we bang to anime. Could you imagine? 
I didn't even understand that sentence. That's the straightest thing you've ever said. <laughs> well, because like I was trying to think of something that wasn't cool. Uh, but you know what? Anime is cool. I was watching Avatar the other day for the first time. It's Avatar cool. The Last Airbender? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I have not seen it. Oh, it's that's, very good. I never thought of that as an anime. I guess it isn't. I don't think I like serious cartoons. Really? Like, cartoons no. need to be silly. What if do you there's watch? blood, I don't like it. Like yeah. SpongeBob. It likes oh, Family I Guy. I love SpongeBob yeah. and Family Guy, yeah. SpongeBob American was formative. Dad. I only just found out. American Dad's good. Yeah. I found out last night uh, that Shava, Shava Yas, never seen SpongeBob. Whoa. Never. I can see that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I want to be there, like when she like. Sees I want to see her watch time. it for the first time. Yeah. Like how she had an Oreo. That was another thing too. Remember from kids? Oh yeah. <laughs> that weren't American. They were like, I've never had Oreos. That's Oreos. insane. <laughs> Let's feed her Oreos. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, God. we just shove Oreos in her mouth. Can so I she ask, becomes was an there, Oreo. Wait, so I have a question. Yeah. It, was there ever something that you were introduced to later in life, like it, maybe in your 20s onwards, mm -hmm. that everyone else was like, wait, you've never experienced this? You've never seen it? You never tasted it? Whatever it is, something that you never heard of, but everyone around you apparently did. She knows chinos oh like the pants yeah those are good pants went to private school like we were a lot of white, white people so mm -hmm. i knew what they like wore and did and wore, stuff i never yeah. knew the term chinos <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Remember when someone said that i was like what are you <laughs> yeah you're like that's very offensive i thought they were actually. type of chinese garment or something <laughs> <laughs> they were like like chinos. i was like the khaki slacks they were yeah. like chinos and i was so confused there was a hilarious moment i was uh i was roommates uh i was sharing a room with this dude during a summer theater Shakespeare program, I love and that. Uh, I love we that went, so we got. <laughs> oh. I was uh, I was twenty one, and we had ordered Chinese food, and we were eating it in our room. It was like a like a cluster of like five of us, and he he's like holding a paper bag, and then he just pulls out an egg roll, and he says, "What the hell is this thing?" He was English. <laughs> he had never seen an egg roll before. Really? And we had to describe tell him what the thing in his hand he was. He had just tasted though. Yeah, he could have. He took he he was scared to take a bite. He was he, <laughs> he said, had no, no idea what describe it, was. it to me. Fuck yeah. the English people just I know. eat it. Oh, come, on. <laughs> come on. They will, you know, go if they back. have too much flavor in their mouth, <laughs> Seriously, they'll die. They yeah. love fried shit. I'm surprised yes. they didn't just go they for it. They love their fried food. I don't know why. Yeah. yeah. What a dork. They're freaking English. You ever spend any time in London? Yeah. That's I just actually crazy. really Disgusting. like <laughs> <laughs> you like it there? I like the whole UK and Ireland region. It's just like gloomy and like snuggly. And yeah. then they just speak English funny. It's great. Yeah, they do. Gloomy oh. and snuggly? Seriously. Yeah. I love like you wake up, it's like kind of rainy, and you're like, mm, let's just stay in bed for another couple of hours. Oh, I know exactly tea. what you mean. Yeah. They They're love their cute. tea. And they dress up a little nicer. They yeah, do. they do. That's like the one thing. They really like have good style over they there. They do. Oh, yeah. I've always, anytime I visited there, like seeing family, I was like, people are very fashionable. Yeah, yeah. I they think are. they're pretty alpine looking too. Actually, they, yeah, they very sometimes alpine they, so. looking. Have a beak. they got their mountains. <laughs> they got their mountains. They look like mountains. Yeah. yeah. Can I ask you something, Sabrina? Yeah. Which is, when was the last time you were over there? <clears throat> oh, November. Oh, November. November. Oh, recently. Okay, so something I wanted to ask you is, did you, when you were visiting there, did you look around and be like? There are a lot of mixed race kids around me. Yeah. Yes. For sure. Thank you. And I was like, this is my life. This is the life I want. I want Mary Tom Hiddleston to have mixed English babies. And what pisses me off is he's married to a black woman now. I know. And, and they're about to have a kid, I think. I know. And I'm like, that could have been me. I'm so sorry. I waited too long. Oh, I don't know what I'm I'm no, so sorry, waited. Sabrina. There will waited. always be another cute English boy, hopefully. There will always be. You'll find be... one. You'll find one. <laughs> there is always more Englishmen hey, in the city. Hey, they're, they're out there. There's a lot of, there's a lot of English That's people. That's why I want to be going to Fringe, god damn it, yeah. <laughs> just to hunt. Oh, I love Edinburgh. Oh, I, I, I went there for a layover on my last Euro trip, and there oh, were yeah. bunnies everywhere. Oh, I don't know why, but there's just little bunnies. Yeah, it's around. like Hobbit Town sometimes. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. cute. There's yeah. little bunnies, and, and when you see one, they come up to you, and they're like, hello, governor. <laughs> yeah. Hello. They take out their little monocle. Would you yeah, like they take out their monocle. Oh, my God. Would you and like then you're like, wait, are you a lesbian? Oh, <laughs> are you a lesbian, darling? <laughs> <laughs> We've heard of those in the rabbit world. <laughs> I swear to God. That'd be great. So yeah, a lot of mixed kids. <laughs> yes. Well, because like in that summer program uh, um, that I that I did, there was um, there was this black woman who was in our group with us, and she had recently visited the UK. And I was talking about how, like, I was talking about like how I was from a mixed family, and that I would very that I would occasionally see like 
mixed people that you could tell that they're mixed in the US, but in the UK, so much more. So For much. some reason, you just see it and you notice it more. Yeah. She was like, I noticed the same thing and we started talking about this. So I was just curious. Yeah, I think also... that's because they have a lot of Indian like mix over yeah. there too. Yeah, like, yeah, they yeah, have yeah, just yeah. Great hair and everyone's got like cool accents with darker skin. You're just like, what? what's this? What's going on? Like I've got a bunch of like Indian friends with English accents. I'm just like, yeah, yeah, this yeah. It's yeah. so unfair. Like, why am I even playing the game? Like, I, <laughs> I'm so unremarkable. <laughs> no, stop. just a black chick from Jersey. Oh my god. Oh, but that's cool. No, that's that's no, that's that's special. Vintage. In its own. But more, oh, it's yeah. more than that. You're also hot. Name another black woman from New Jersey. You see, you can't. You can't. There's you know what's <laughs> awful? I can. <laughs> Like right Michelle Buteau. <laughs> I, I love Michelle Buteau. Love she's from Jersey. Yeah, well, that makes Jersey. sense. She's a Jersey girl. Yeah. yeah. Which part? Or I, don't, she... I don't know which part, but I know that she's from New Jersey. Okay, I'm gonna like Wikipedia yeah. the shit out of her yeah. now because I love her. She's I love so... her. She's amazing. Do you watch yeah. The Circle? No, the movie. No, no, no. It's a no, it's a shape. show on Netflix. <laughs> Do you? I was thinking the movie when Tom, I think it was Tom Hanks and like Hermione and it was yes, terrible. Yes, I know I think. exactly what you mean. Yeah, yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm such a loser. The shape. The shape. I was thinking, do I say the shape or the book? Like, Ooh, yeah, the book. I like the shape. I like the idea of you yeah. just looking at a circle. It's a Netflix show that Michelle Buteau like she like narrates it. It's a reality yeah, she's show, the host. Oh. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. she's like the host and she like narrates all the action. Okay, I'm gonna look that up. She also narrates another one on Netflix that's like about female pleasure or something. Oh Does yes. She? Well, oh my yes. god, what's that one called? Like vibrations I, or wait, something crazy. Fe wait, females have pleasure? It really is a valid question. <laughs> We do. You just have to really work hard. You at gotta it. work hard for it. It's like trying to get the honor roll. You have to work that hard. I'm unconvinced. You ever I... make the dean's list? The dean. Ever make the dean's the list? Beans honey? List. Try the dean's list. I was gonna say it, but you love Bra deriving women of the pleasure of a Bra good joke. Bra yep. Bra That's what I do. I love you guys. I really do. This is precious. This is We're having a the great best. time. This is a great time. It is great. Wait, what part of Jersey are you from? Maplewood, like North Jersey. Oh okay. yeah, my ex lived in Millwood, which is the next stop on that on that train. So I Milburn. Milburn. Yay! Yes. Milburn. Yeah. <laughs> Milburn Short Hills. Yeah. It's all the a mall. little cluster yeah. of mm. like, yeah, Pleasant Villa. Do you, you know, guys have good places. pizza out there? Yeah, we're, it's pretty decent out there. Yeah, pizza's Sushi. not bad. Honestly, here's, you good, know what? Yeah. The, the weird thing about growing up is realizing that, especially growing up in New York, that a lot of the biases you were taught to have against New Jersey, it's actually a great place. It really is lovely. New Jersey's it's a really lovely. Nice it doesn't smell place. that bad, bad. And the only part that smells is when you're coming in or out of the city in Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Yeah, oh, okay. very pretty a name. Smelly, yeah. Terrible smell. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Truly. Or Jersey City, although it's gotten a little better yeah. over the years. Jersey City, I think, is actually pretty nice it's yeah, gotten like really nice because nice people live there now like who like work in who new york yeah. 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 yeah 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 starting families we'll put in effort yeah. Yeah. starting families and no shit. now i'm in my like early 30s i have so many friends that are like out there and they're always like you gotta come see the baby it's like literally <laughs> yeah. oh yeah I i'm starting to get to, to that oh. age that you gotta come meet the baby age oh, and God. you know what i always love meeting the baby i know once but then i like i don't want to Go path I, back and forth. He's goddamn baby. I have not baby. met the baby yet. It'll it'll happen at some point. But there's I have one not. baby who all three of us are friends with, and we just didn't know. What? <laughs> yeah, oh, I thought you meant there's actually one, and I was like, "What? Who do I know?" No, 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 no. no. I'm saying. <laughs> I got anxious. I was like, "Oh my god, is there a friend of mine that has a kid that I don't know about?" God, my connective tissue in my brain is just gone today, Sabrina. I'm so sorry. I'm. Please. I fear that I'm not presenting you my best self. Oh my God! What? Never fear that with me. I'm always here for a good time. <laughs> <laughs> you're making me feel so safe. And you're. That's good. I have had friends say that about me. I'm a Taurus, so apparently. Oh, I'm interesting. A I'm a Scorpio, safe. so we're. That's my moon. What? I don't really know exactly what that means. <laughs> he just checked the fuck out. <laughs> Lucas is like, and I'm a man, so I don't care. I thought everybody was getting more and more into that. I'm eating a granola bar. You, you, he's you, not been you ran ladies gab all you want. He's not been ran through enough to know all of his signs. When you're like a ran single lady. Ran through? You You've never heard this? That. Ran through? No. No, actually. For it's astrology like stuff? No, no, no. I've it had just... someone do my birth chart once. I have had that. It just had a little app. I mean, you know, it's, it's cute. Oh, like CoStar? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know CoStar. It's oh, cute. yeah, I had that once. <laughs> Regrets. A <laughs> CoStar. It yeah. itched like a mother. <laughs> Who was your CoStar, Lucas? Who? Yeah, you said you had a CoStar. Oh, no, I mean, I had someone who I was seeing at the time who did CoStar. 
oh yeah so that's what i meant by ran through when you say someone's been ran through it means they've slept with a lot of people oh yeah so they've that's been what I ran through oh that's not me unfortunately not yet. Not yet. I mean, I got to That'll be my 40s. I'm hoping to be a slut in my You're 40s. You're going to be a slutty, a slutty like 40s. Like a high class. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, have a Jaguar. Do you want kids one day? I know it's an intimate question. Maybe. I love kids. I just don't want to, like, have to take care of them. All, like, it's all the time. Like, they yeah. always need somebody for, like, at least 18 years. I know. <laughs> and and they you are. can't just, like, lose them. You it's can't. Not, like, your you can't just, like, leave them yeah, and be like, no. you know what? I need some time to myself. You can't. <laughs> You can't attach an air tag to them. You, oh, that would be so nice. Just right off the butt. <laughs> Find just my kid. Hey, this is the solution. Find just microchip kid. your kids. Find Mike. Seriously. Yeah, just yeah. microchip. A little, well, that's what the government's doing all of us. Remember hey. the vaccine? Remember Elon Musk? <laughs> Remember Elon Musk? Remember him? Yeah. He was around. Never forget. Um, <laughs> before he, before yeah. he tried to back out of buying it is, Twitter. It is a lot of... Uh, no. oh, oh, yeah. And the deal went through. So it did happen? No, it didn't happen. It okay. went, it, no, I meant, it went through the floor. Oh, right. That's what it went I meant. through the floor, yeah. It went through So to, he didn't buy Twitter. He did not buy Twitter. What a tease. <laughs> I swear to God. Yeah. <laughs> They're probably so bummed. It's like, I want something exciting to happen. What's crazy is I don't even know what the ramifications would have been for that. Like, everyone was treating it like such a big deal, and I was like, Oh my God, Elon Musk buying Twitter. But like, I it doesn't move the needle for me either way. I didn't really get it either. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Same app, different asshole. That's what I say. Seriously. Yeah, I've been saying this. She's like, this is my mantra. <laughs> I've been chanting this every morning. Seriously. I'm man. in my place like same app, different did, asshole. Did, was it ever revealed like what his goal was? With buying Twitter? I think just to be more, like, obnoxious. <laughs> like, I, I do agree. Yeah. I think you just get bored at that time. You're like, yeah. I've been so rich for so long. Let's just oh yeah, fuck stuff up. That is definitely a thing. Well, that's like the plot of, like, Squid Game. Is that these rich people just got so rich they were bored. So they were like, let's start a modern gladiatorial games where most people die. Yeah. Did you guys both watch that? I, I didn't it. watch it yet. Me I either. I loved it I'm so much. I'm scared of violence. It yeah, seemed really I'm scared bloody. of violence. Like, I extra. feel like if I was watching Squid Game, I'd be like, no, stop. I know. <laughs> guys, just make friends. Okay. Seriously, it's okay. I would be nice. try and go into the TV and be like, why are you making them do this? Come on. I, Let's talk it out. I, I, enough. I'm okay with violence in movies, but I'm not good with horror. I'm mm. not a horror movie person. I've Me found either. like a few movies that are like really good, like the Paranormal Activity movies. Those are fun. Okay. I loved Get Out. Yeah. Mm. I was okay on the second one, Us. I thought that was. I already I saw the commercial. I was like, nope, knives, don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> and scary mask. No, it really freaked yeah. me out. It was. Oh, it was. It was scary, but not as like deep hitting as Get Out was. Mm. Get Out like Get Out was really, scary. Yeah, Get that, Out was like, scary. Ooh, yeah. When the uh, the one that really fucking scared me in that movie when he was talking to the gardener. Yeah. And it was you didn't yeah. know yet that it was like her granddad. He was like, she's a real home digger. And I'm like, what's <laughs> happening right now? I'm so freaked out. Or whenever the lady walked really quickly past his door. Oh I'm my like, god, yeah. It's like a spider or something. It For me, me what's the most haunting is when Allison Williams is sitting there drinking milk. And she eats the Fruit Loop? Yeah. With one, I was like, who yeah. eats a Fruit Loop and bites like that? She was like, oh no, that's so terrible. She's so <laughs> haunted. She really and she's creepy. perfect for that role. Yeah. She killed it. That really yeah. bummed me out though for interracial relationships. She was relationships. so good. Yeah, so. yeah, I know. Because yeah. at the beginning. As a connoisseur of white men yeah. yourself. I know, I don't want to <laughs> yeah. be, but I, they're just so, <laughs> <laughs> they're just so slappable sometimes. It's like, <laughs> it's like having a puppy sometimes. I don't know. <laughs> But you yeah, know, everyone slaps their puppy. <laughs> yeah, Those you know, two things didn't go together. You're right. I'm sorry. <laughs> Everybody is slapping their puppies, especially they, they just got... have such slappable faces and yes. alpine faces. Alpine slappable <laughs> alpine faces. faces. There you go. Slappable alpine faces. Yeah, oh my that's my mantra. I, yeah. I remember I saw a video of Jordan Peele answering fan questions about Get Out. Uh huh. And they brought up the scene of like eating the Fruit Loops with like drinking milk and a separate glass. And someone asked, is that because everything in her life, the whites have to be separate from the colors? Jesus, that's deep. Yeah. But okay. And then he was like, that's a crazy good analysis. And he was like, that's not the reason why we did that. We just thought it looked weird as fuck and we wanted to her, her to do it. I love kids. They're just like, let me get this big metaphor around this. It's like, yeah, no, yeah. we just wanted to do we something weird. Oh, yeah. <laughs> weird. Yeah. 
Another reason, another fan theory people had is because lactose intolerance is more common in black communities. Ah, it is. It does not stop us, though. I don't know one black person <laughs> that takes it seriously. I swear to God. My mom is one of them. Seriously. Really? We, like, actively just have a cheese plate. Like, you're like, <laughs> what are you doing? I will say my mom uh, goes for, like, goat cheeses more because those, mm. like, affect her a little bit less. Yes. But she, yeah, like. Uh, like her, her, my uncle, like, yeah, they're... <laughs> That's a good yeah. idea, yeah. Yeah, yeah they'll, they'll be like, pizza, and then, like, when you get your wings, you get the blue cheese sauce, oh you my know. God. It's, yeah, oh, we, yeah, we're not trying. Are you I lactose guess, intolerant? I don't think that, no, not to the point where it's, like... It, it like, affects you, yeah. yeah like, IBS okay. or anything. Yeah. That's I definitely a, have IBS. You do? But it's no, not because do. of lactose, it's just because I'm Jewish. It's because you're so hot. Yeah, it's because I'm so beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's because I'm so beautiful. <laughs> I swear to God, I love it. It's actually one of the reasons I have had moments where like I've been having really bad IBS and then I go on stage and it's cured. And a big reason for that is because adrenaline stops oh. you from like needing to poop as much. Holy shit. That's crazy because adrenaline makes me shit more. Yeah, whenever I run, oh my God. <laughs> well, running yeah. is di- running is gonna like, or, it's gonna go right through or you. Or when I'm Terrible. getting like ready to go on stage, I need, I get anxiety shits. Really? Yes. That's the worst. Yeah. But when you're on stage itself, like you don't public. need to poop. Oh, no, no, no. Not yeah. when I'm on stage, but, but like right preceding before? the moments before. I'm like, oh, I need I need to go. But that's oh, like, let's terrible. say you're like running away from a bear, right? Oh, then I probably wouldn't have to shit in that moment. Yeah, that's what I mean. Is like I, think when I'd you're be, in, I think I'd be preoccupied. When you're in the adrenaline. I swear to God. When I'm in the adrenaline. Yeah, yeah. then you don't need to poop. But yes. before the, if you're like gearing up to fight a bear, then you need but Then that's even worse. You're like, shit, do I shit or do I run from this bear? <laughs> like, I really gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go. There's a porta potty right here, but there's also a bear right here. Like, oh, Mr. Bear, oh, can what you do I do? Choices. Uh, it is. It feels oh, like a no. big one. Oh, God. Because then sometimes you don't want to pass up the opportunity. You know, when you feel like it's a good one. <laughs> you know? For sure. Too yeah. much information. Well, you're no, like, oh, the world needs this one. <laughs> yeah. Just like you feel healthier, you're like I should do some. I should have some me time. I should think about me, and I should put. Oh yeah, out, I know? love a good. But that was me this morning. About that, about like go. having a poop so good. Oh, you know, I have a bit about um. Uh, <laughs> I love it. Taking a shit that's so good, you wish other people could experience it. It is very like the, when it just feels amazing. You're like, this is wasted on me. It's like someone, someone better someone deserves the shit I just took. <laughs> someone needs this poop. Yeah. I haven't thought about that, but that is very selfless of you. Yeah, I like especially that. like when you like go to wipe and there's nothing there, and you're like Malala deserves uh, this. Like <laughs> Malala Stop deserves it. a lot. I'm just doing Malala my deserves yeah. a lot. That's Malala, amazing. if you're listening, <laughs> Malala, you're out there, I baby. hope you have good shits. I hope you do. She is a hot husband. Have you seen her husband? Malala's married. Malala's married to a hunk. Shit, he is a <laughs> yeah. Hottie. I gotta Google this. That oh. and the Rocky and Bullwinkle. I, I still remember Rocky Bullwinkle, California. Rocky and Bullwinkle, California. Oh Let's yeah, see. Malala. Those are, yeah, Malala husband. You're gonna be like, <laughs> damn, this guy, he's a cutie. Damn. And I want to touch that booty. You're gonna be. He's he's a he's a good looking. Oh, he's really hot. Yeah. You want to see? He's beautiful. Oh my god. Yeah, he's got a cute little yeah, smile. Yeah. A good beard. Yeah, gorgeous guy. Oh, gorgeous yeah. guy. I love a beard. Even as a as a mostly gay woman myself, <laughs> a beard is like the contour of the man's face. Ooh, oh, that's yeah. good. Contour, yeah. good word. It is. Yeah. That's really why I, my favorite baseball team, the Yankees, I really want them to overturn. They have this policy where you can't shave your... What? Or you can't. You have to have a clean shaven face. You that's can't have insane. a beard. Wait. What? When, it's Why? Is that illegal? Like, oh, you have to like dis. Well, nothing in baseball is illegal because they have like an antitrust exemption. But okay. so I'm sure like everything else behind them is like not illegal. But drugs, drugs were leg- uh made illegal. Like human growth hormone and stuff was made illegal in like 2005, I think. So <laughs> we're both like shit. I mean, if you wanted a serious I could have been a per- I could have been a major leaguer and taking growth hormone all this time. You would have been really good at baseball. You should yeah. come with us to these. I'll end up looking after. and sounding like Tony Robbins by the end of it. Just like, <laughs> it mouth full of teeth. Hi. <laughs> I swear to God, I can't even imagine. So when you're hitting a ball, you would be so yeah. terrifying on steroids. I don't want to know. Oh my God. I don't want to know. Can't even imagine. That, oh, that's oh, that's a crazy thought. The idea of me on steroids. <laughs> imagine Lucas, but he's like beefed up. That's an insane. <laughs> 
That's an insane thought. I can't even like see it. <laughs> oh, like can, a cartoon. Can you imagine <laughs> me, but with like, but with my neck like being the whole... width of my actual head? <laughs> oh, I hate That's traps weird. that are too big. Yeah, yeah. like the yeah. little turtleneck thing. I'm oh, like, relax. I know what you mean. I don't like a super muscly. No. Yeah. Me either. Yeah. yeah. What's like... your ideal body type? <laughs> oh yeah. My ideal body type is a guy where if shit got real in the relationship, I could take him. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Like for that's sure. ideal. Like I want you to like look. <laughs> Tom Hiddleston. But I also want to be able to get out of there if you lose your mind. Right. <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why I'm not dating like a football player. I'm like, it's over. You're gonna win. Right. But like someone you could a runner. On. A runner, right. <laughs> like a New York soccer player. Soccer player, possibly, yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Anything that looks you get like a fr- someone that pan. looks someone. <laughs> Wait, what'd you say? A frying pan. <laughs> like in a cartoon, you like Like a frying pan could take out a soccer player, but like a Titan. Football, yeah. probably not. Like Travis yeah. Kelsey like, could take no. a couple. Yeah, he's like, ah! yeah, that's true. If you boink a f- football player with a frying pan, boink. the frying pan would break. Okay, I'm sorry. In my mind, boink means sex. That's what that means. What? Boink no. means you. Be- is when you. Uh... Don't ruin the word boink. I like it when it's applied to adorable shit. I can see it like a cartoon. Boink. Is that what you say to women? Is that what kids say? Boink. boink. That's what I. S- <laughs> Is that what the yeah, kids it's are kid saying? slang. Everyone on TikTok is just like, so we've been boinking. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, hey, babe, you want to boink? Like, and now I'm imagining like, and she's just like oh, boinking no, around. No, and it's like, no. boink, 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 oh, boink, boink, boink. And it gets faster. It's like, boink, 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 boink. boink. <laughs> like paddle. Yeah. <laughs> And when they come, it's like, boing. No, then it's just a slide whistle. Like, <laughs> Kids, if you never Learned. had sex, this is what it is. That's all it yeah. is. That's all it is. Just Learn boing. something new every day. <laughs> boing, 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 boing. Yeah. I just want to make it clear. I have never uttered boing. Had sex. In it, in it. Yeah, I've never had sex. Oh, I've be- never boinked. I've never boinked. <laughs> never boinked. That'd be even funnier if the dude was like saying it to himself. Like, boing. Like, like, as he was no, that would not be funny. That would be terrifying. That the would girl's be like, so... shut up. Like, are you trying to focus? Right? Sabrina, yeah. how would you react if you if you were making sweet, sweet love to a, to a nice guy? Say everything else, like 10 out of 10, every other way, has all the quality. British, uh, you know, you can take him in a fight, but he says that during sex. He goes, boink, boink, boink. So boink, Tom Hiddleston boink. says boink during yeah, sex. Yeah, Tom Hiddleston. I'd overlook it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> wow. How loudly is he saying it? Can I wear earbuds? <laughs> Let's say he says it inc- with increasing volume. <laughs> like how Malcolm Gladwell speaks sometimes. You know, he starts yelling towards the end of his sentences. <laughs> yeah. And as soon as he gets closer, point, point, point. Oh, yeah, that'd be terrible. Yeah, he fucks like Malcolm Gladwell. <laughs> I'd give it maybe a few months. I think okay. I, I maybe could do it. For the life, for lifetime of boinking. <laughs> With audible boys. Maybe you get used to it. Yeah. Maybe you will be able to tune it out. That's fair. I'd give it a trial run. Yeah, okay. super I wouldn't fair. say hard no. Look at you being so accepting. I like his alpine face. Yeah. <laughs> it's very alpine. alpine. Very alpine face. Things I'll do for an alpine face. It's <laughs> really uh, a lot. Yeah. So well, d- how would you how would you react if you yeah. were let's say sweet, sweet love. if you were yeah. had your strap on and your little strap on harness <laughs> and you were breaking uh, only oh. if the strap on said it <laughs> well actually actually this well that's a uh would it it's be like different a would yeah. you have a different <laughs> twist it boink it boink it boink it would you have a, what, what would be your reaction if say your girlfriend started saying that and like she and like genuinely like she was into saying it <laughs> you let her yeah you, you gotta Aww. you gotta you gotta give them something once yeah. Oh, see, that's someone who's been in well-adjusted relationships. <laughs> it's beautiful. I'm sure Aww. you have. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like Elaine sometimes from Seinfeld. Like, she'll just, like, get rid of a guy for, like, anything. It's like, you didn't put an exclamation point in your text to me? This warrants an exclamation point. We're broken up. What's your biggest, what's been your, like, craziest deal breaker? I, I have an answer to that as well, but you first. No, you first. Okay. Um... <laughs> I will I will tell you that I once matched with someone on a dating app and then I was going through her profile and then like her Instagram feed was on her uh, dating profile. You could like tap and like see a photo and like or even watch a video that she had posted. Wow, she was out and there. And I found mm-hmm. one that she posted where she said, um, uh, it is not OK to make fun of Donald Trump for his weight issues. We should make fun of his failings as a leader. 
Fallings? Failings, but she pronounced it Fallings. And that was it. And I genuinely, I was like, excuse you? And then I watched the video and she said Fallings again. And I thought, and I genuinely thought, is this something I could get past? And I thought about it for a moment. I was like, no. I'm and obsessed. I unmatched right there. Because you're thinking about it. You're like, okay, we're in an argument. We're in the heat of it. We're about to break yeah. up. And then she goes, this relationship, it's <laughs> falling. <laughs> Can do it. That would be something make me stay, actually. That's why I like weird accents. Because it's just, you have to stop and laugh at them. Oh, no, yeah, no, no. That's no. true. I, if I you're in an that, argument yeah. with the Scottish guy, or like, so they're saying <laughs> stupid, say rubbish or something. I'm like, this yeah. is so funny. I'm down with other little quirks like that, but that right there, it was Phallics. the tone that she said it. I was just like, I hate this. Also, so much. Much. you can't make fun of Donald Trump. Right. Wait, come on. Right. She was taking herself way too seriously in the yeah. whole thing. Maybe, I'm like, yeah. you're annoying. You can That's make fair. fun of Donald. You. It's probably not right to make fun of other people's weight, but Donald Trump. Let's go for it. Let's fucking go for let's it. Go for it. it well, I will say the point she was making, I actually like sort of agree with, which is like, right. uh, that if he, that you, it's not like okay to make fun of anyone for, for something like that that they can't necessarily control except for and, donald trump though yeah i really believe let's that. bring it back to the 90s for donald trump like yeah, all things okay. go <laughs> he Bully. doesn't he doesn't hold back true but he's grabbing pussies. Pussies. He but, tells do you, like but do you want to be like donald trump yes okay <laughs> i want to be a leader <laughs> can we parse out the different ways you know what i want to be, be good at twitter i want to be good at twitter <laughs> I'll see that. That's that is. I want to own a casino, and I'm not going to Twitter. So I would love to be. Can Donald I tell Trump you one of way. the? I will say obviously not the main reason I'm glad he's not president anymore, and the why. But one of like one of the tragedies about him being president and doing the damage that he did, it meant that I couldn't enjoy him just as an entertainer, right? Because he was so entertaining, right? And there's yeah. so much stuff. Yeah. Like, you know, like, you'll, what is it? The uh, He's in that Home Alone one. That's one of the many yeah. examples, you know? He's, like, little cameos. Oh, like, yeah. He was just, yeah. like, so he could be like, oh, this he guy. He was a terrible person. I know. He, he is a nanny. terrible person, but he's also so funny. Did you yeah. ever watch Celebrity Apprentice? Either? Yes. No. Yeah. Oh. oh, my God. Loved it. He's so captivating. So captivating. And when it, even when he was, like, doing a rally and he was doing his impression of Tiny Mike, like and he was like behind a, a podium just like i'm here just like, he was so funny I'm he just like, has no idea you. like he's so funny he'd be a great method actor oh oh my, oh god. my god you're so right he would oh because i don't think he would act in anything if it wasn't method acting mm -hmm. oh yeah, yeah, like, yeah i need to take it all the way there <laughs> all or nothing all or nothing <laughs> i swear to god oh, donald trump is susan b anthony <laughs> But in like a uh, Abraham Lincoln versus vampire killer kind of movie, Susan B. Anthony, but she has like machine guns, you know? Oh my God. Oh my God. I think he would do that. Yeah. He would crush it. Oh, yeah. Wait, so what's your deal breaker? <laughs> oh, yes. right. Um, there was this Australian guy, Alpine Face. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I don't know. We were driving from somewhere and Sweet Home Alabama was on the radio. Uh huh. And I like turned it up and started singing along. He was like, you can't enjoy this. And I was like, what do you mean? He was like, this is racist white people. Like you can't enjoy their song. Like you can't sing along to it. And I was like, I can sing along to whatever I want. I want to sing to this folksy white people song. <laughs> I can do what I want. Was he black? No. Oh Sorry, I should have made that clear. What was his, I need to know. What <laughs> white, was Australian. white Australian. Aus white Australian. Okay. Also Australian. Mind your own goddamn business. Yeah, yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah what yeah, does yeah, he yeah. know? It was very uh, weird. Acting all superior. Yeah, that The was Australians annoying. are terrible towards indigenous people. Terrible. Like the worst. Yeah. yeah. It's like, what? what are you even doing down here? Like, <laughs> you're the ones that England got rid of. Don't come down to another rock and assert your whiteness. Like South Africans, like white yeah. South African stuff. I'm like, are you lost? I know. <laughs> this is Africa. Oh, are you South African? I am white South African. But you're right. <laughs> but I'm not offended. You're right. We're terrible. That was so funny, though. Oh, my God. And we're white South African Jewish, which is like. Wow. Even worse. <laughs> it's funny because I guess well, like. You're probably nice. Ones. Back in apartheid, what? we're like were probably the nice ones. <laughs> yeah, we were like nominally <laughs> white, you know, like white. <laughs> Not every white person in South Africa is mean, right? We were the, the good nice ones. ones. <laughs> but then you got the Zionism thing, which is uh, not yeah. good. And my family is like. Oh my God, There's I have this one aunt who's like maybe the worst person I've ever met. I don't care if she hears this. She doesn't listen to my podcast. There's no way. 
But within the first, like, <laughs> and she's here right now. <laughs> and, she's, and if you look under your seats, <laughs> it's on Barbara. She's like, ah, yeah. I'm under your seat. Barbara. <laughs> Barbara. What a name. She has this notion that, like, she would not stop talking about. She was like, you know, it's so interesting. There's so many moneyed black people in South Africa. Moneyed? Now. Moneyed? Like, as in, like, people are getting ri- like rich spending all this money i was like that adjective bro do you want it moneyed. to go back to before because i don't <laughs> like, moneyed oh and she said desmond tutu was an anti-semite and then she like you know that it's bad when my mother is the wokest person in the conversation because <laughs> my my mother's trying to talk to my aunt and grandma and she's like what are you guys talking about i feel like i'm going insane oh and your grandmother's agreeing my grandmother was my grandmother has dementia, so oh, okay. Barbara like convinced her that my my grand was like, oh, he was a great man, and Barbara was like, he was an anti semite. My grand was like, oh, that sounds bad, sure. Oh, that oh, sounds I see. bad. Oh, yeah. oh, that's uh, that's not good, sure. But then of course, you know, I tell my grand, I'm like, he was an anti semite. He just spoke out against Israel. My grand's like, well, if he spoke out against Israel, he's an anti semite, which is like how people think. It about. really is a. It's like uh, really like. It's really all or nothing. It's <laughs> really like, all I or nothing. It's like Donald Trump's method acting. It's all or nothing. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, white South Africans are the That's worst. That's how he became it's Zionist crazy. over time. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, Shit. we're 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 the worst. But it's but you're right. I think at some point the Jews were probably nicer in some ways and meaner in other ways. Except Barbara. She's a real cunt. God, I hate my aunt Barbara. <gasps> Fuck Barbara. <laughs> dude. The best bit to this is hilarious. <laughs> Except for Barbara, she's a real cunt. Could you imagine I just bleep it out, but we just keep all of the context? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> What's her social security? Wait, social security number. She's in South Africa. Different system. Oh, I didn't even um, clock that. I was yeah. like, yeah, what is it? Yeah. Oh, oh my God, we're so Americanized. I was like, everyone has a social security yeah. number. Seriously? Right? Have you, wait, have, oh, the craziest thing is like when I've heard like, uh, black people in like uh, the UK or Ireland say say that they've been told that they're African American. They're like, "Hey, we're not fucking American." Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's hilarious. It is hilarious. Yeah. I remember though too. I don't know what age or in what context, but then realizing like, "Oh yeah, you're not American. You're <laughs> yeah. just yeah. black, but from another is place." There, yeah. I didn't in know the- we could be from other places. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're all from Jersey. Yeah. <laughs> I met black people from Sweden. I was like, "Wow." We're everywhere. We're so adaptable. I saw I saw a bunch when I went to Iceland. I saw like a lot of black people speaking beautiful Icelandic, and I was that's like, "That's hot. That is the coolest that is cool. thing. I'm so unremarkable. <laughs> I know. I'm from Jersey. I have, I have never seen a black person. Well, all speak black people Icelandic. originated in Jersey, easy. Yeah. which is true. Yeah. Is it weird that I just true. want to see that now? Is that a weird thing to you say? You know what's crazy? A black person with a Boston accent. Insane. And You've I met one. That is that blows that my is, mind. That is more insane. Crazy. What that was it like meeting this person? My dad and I were just staring at this guy. He was like, <laughs> <laughs> it was hilarious. It was really hilarious. He was a painter and he was like helping to paint our house. And he like we was just talking. I was looking at my dad. I was like, is he? Is that Boston? <laughs> oh my god, it's crazy. Did he just sound like Bill Burr? Just like. <laughs> Or like yeah. Ryan, Ryan it's like O'Toole. if Idris Elba sounded like Bill Burr because oh he god. looks kind of like that too. Oh yeah. my god! He's just like, what's happening? That's weirdly hot. <laughs> oh, it can't that's really. Very that is hot, yeah. I met sure. an um, Idris Elba sounding like anyone is pretty hot. He's I just know, a he hot can do dude. whatever. Yeah, he Ooh. could. I met a Vietnamese guy with an Irish accent because he was from Whoa. Donegal, which has like a lot of uh, Asian yeah wow people there, and I okay. was like. Hot, yes. Yeah, nice. yeah, it was one of those situations. Like I didn't hear a word you said. I was just yeah. like, staring yeah, at yeah, you, yeah, like, yeah. "What? This is hot." That's cool. <laughs> I want to go to Japan at some point. That's Me my too. next. I've stop. never mm. been. I go, I go with you. Let's do it. Let's We're go gonna to do batting cages. We're, We're gonna do Japan, Japan. <laughs> California, Rocky and Bullwinkle. I'm not kidding, Abby. <laughs> Why go to Rocky, Rocky and Bullwinkle's Bull happening? Rocky, are you coming to Rocky and Bullwinkle, Lucas? I'm, I'm down. I'm so down to go. Like, Wait, so Rocky, but it's like Chuck E. Cheese, but just not, and it's like but full with of. Rocky do they and have Bullwinkle. animated? Are they animated when you have a birthday? Animatronics. Yeah, yes, they animatronics. they have the animatronics, but no way they're as haunting as the Chuck E. Cheese animatronics. Oh, okay. Do you remember what was your experience seeing an animatronic for the first time? <laughs> whimsy <laughs> yeah, i really whimsy. enjoyed it whimsy is the but then i remember it. the first time one like didn't work perfectly oh, and it was and like a, uh, creepy uh, yeah. you know I'm like oh what's happening can i tell you one of like the creepiest things i ever saw there is a 
Are you guys aware of the supermarket chain Stu Leonard's? Oh, baby. You no. know I love Stu Leonard's. That's a great oh. name, though. It's oh. a great name. Is it it's West a Coast? huge. It's in uh, Connecticut, I think. It's in Connecticut. Oh. Also, yeah. like, maybe one or two locations in slightly upstate New York. Oh. It's probably like, it's, pretty close to Maplewood. Yeah, probably. But it's a it's a supermarket where um, they have a lot of Disney animatronics all the way through the supermarket. I'm jealous. They well, also no, have a no. petting zoo outside the supermarket. Yeah. What? Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. It's definitely not in Jersey. We don't, we <laughs> yeah, don't have no. anything lovely like that. <laughs> Wait, okay, okay. There's actually, there's a video, there's a video <laughs> yeah, online of Christopher Walken going to a Stu Leonard's Stop and it. buying um, uh, a lot of ingredients so that he can make a chili pear spiced chicken, I a love, roast chicken. I it's adorable. Christopher Walken. It's so cute. I remember the moment that I realized that he's actually a serious actor. Yeah. Because when I first saw him, it was he was in that music video. Yeah. Where he's yeah, walking yeah, down yeah. the stairs and Fat dancing. Boy Slim. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Oh my god. And then he's doing god. cowbell. And then like yeah, yeah. decades later, it was like, oh, is he like a? <laughs> he's the coolest. He's, he's like so a cool. serious actor. He's yeah. So cool. I also remember. I think this was on his uh, Inside the Actor Studio. Another one. Uh, throw. But um, he talks about like someone asks him why he has such good hair. At like the age he does, and he apparently, when he was a kid, he was told to like tug on his hair a little bit to like stimulate hair growth on his head, and he just always did that. Black people love oil, <laughs> like yeah, yeah, products. massages, yeah, that, yeah, that yeah, tracks, yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah, I found wow. that. Wow, and you, it was I'm insane to learn. Christopher Walken hair. Christopher yeah. Walken. <laughs> He definitely has like he has like a, a full head of hair. It's and like, it's all it's very, his. It's lush. It's all his. It's all. It's very luscious. I don't know how to explain it, but Christopher Walken's hair looks like it's going to keep growing until, yeah. but like upwards, mm -hmm. like mm. until it becomes a tree. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is nice hair. He does have. He has great hair. Yeah, I love Christopher. He Walken. looks alpine to me. He looks that's alpine. alpine. Yeah, that's alpine. It's Do you think the there's a difference lines. between alpine and avian? Now that we've t talked about it, it, there's alpine, avian, and Aryan. <laughs> We need to break all of them down. It's not fuck Mary Kill. Three it's three. Alpine, Aryan, or Avian. <laughs> Aunt Barbara, Aryan. <laughs> Even though she's Jewish. That actually is very a good breakdown. Yeah. Fuck Mary Kill that. <laughs> you probably Mary. You definitely killed Aryan. <laughs> Wait, am I am I Alpine, Avian, you kill or Aryan? Aryan what am for I? Sure. I feel like Avian for you. I think avian, you're Avian. Okay. Yeah. What am, what am I? <laughs> I don't know the way you just did that face. Aryan, this one. Aryan, Aryan like, as fuck. Aryan. <laughs> yeah. I think, you're Aryan. I think you're Alpine. I think you're Alpine. Yeah. Alpine? I yeah. just really love this word. Never it's a great heard word. a sentence before. Great until word. This a great moment. word for a great guest. I, I <sighs> Yay. What a good guest. What a good guest. <laughs> Is there anything else you'd like to say before we get into giving listeners advice on their troubles? Ooh. No, this is fun. Cool. <laughs> okay. So we have listeners uh send us basically little stories they have things they want advice on sometimes they're serious sometimes they're silly um let's do Ooh! oh my god oh this uh. is a great question <laughs> this is a great question <laughs> rate gabby on a scale of one to ten in terms of morality morality that's great, great. our question. listeners know me so well so morality like an example would be like if she found 20 bucks what would I do hmm. with 20 bucks? Would you like report? Like if you found a wallet, would you report it? Or like, would she take them like that morality? Oh, let's say what we think Gabby would do. And then you can say what you actually would do. Okay. Whatever you say is going to be very anti-Semitic, I think. 20 bucks. <laughs> oh yeah, this kind of makes sense. <laughs> this is a setup 20 for a bucks. Really good joke. If you find 20 bucks on the street, I, I, I'm going to guess you do what I do, which is I'm keeping that. Yeah, I'd pocket that But <laughs> if it's $100 or more, I don't think I would keep that. I think I probably, if I would like look around, especially if there was a money clip. If it was like a, a solid amount of money, I'd be like, okay, I can't take this. This actually belongs to someone. And is I don't there want... an engraving on the money clip? Yeah, true. <laughs> like, do, do I have a lead? Because yes. if there's no lead, I'm not going to stress too much about it. I think that's a good rule of thumb yeah what would you, okay what would you actually do you know honestly i don't think this situation would ever happen to me because i don't think i would notice ah there's so, you know i give her a 10 because yeah, for aloofness a <laughs> that's good. One. and also i feel like if she really was faced with the situation she'd give it a good hard think yeah thank you a good... <laughs> but is that morality because it's like Probably there's not. different <laughs> kinds of morality i'm just dumb like do the things i say in this podcast <laughs> 
uh are they are they okay probably not but am i a good person maybe i, I think so i think <laughs> you're very moral. but am i a good person <laughs> from maybe. one to ten yeah. though from one to ten eight all right uh, so, uh, on morality yeah i give you i give you a 9.2 thank you nice like decimals there you go i like decimals very moral oh mm -hmm. yeah what about you guys what your, what are your morality scores you think I'm probably like high up there. I like to think that I can be a rebel or a badass or just be like, you know, it's weird. Just think no. for yourself and like screw the world. But then I'd be like, no, I think I need you're to a good girl. Help people. Yeah, you do. I'm such I, a good girl. I still believe in my permanent record. I, yeah, it's terrible. I think I, I think I'm up there. I do think I'm up there. I'm not too dishonest a person. I remember that I was once at a um, I was at a show at Eastville mm. and uh, I was with a comedian who I will not say their name. I'll, I'll tell you guys afterwards. It's actually totally Ooh, fine. Tea. No, it's it's not that big a tea. <laughs> but like our the wait the waitress who was like bringing us our drinks, she forgot to charge us at our table. <sighs> me and this other comedian, and this com and this comedian was like, "All right, you ready to go?" I was like, "We need to pay." And and uh, they were like, "Let's just go." And I was like, "No, we're gonna pay. We're we're not gonna leave. No, no, no. This yeah. one person is like working here. They need they need just let's." Pay them what maybe they my deserve. score is a little lower than yeah <laughs> in that situation i feel like i'd probably go or if i would think about it and be like no you sabrina you get caught <laughs> and then i'd like pussy out at the last minute i would be like it's their mistake but also like their mistake would cost them money it was so, also like, there were maybe... a lot of tables and she was just trying to get to everyone she was uh, overworked you that was like, they understaffed they understaffed yeah. It, that's exactly what it was. Right. I was like, she's doing a lot of work right yeah. now. I was then like, it depends on like their attitude. Like, exactly. Maybe if they sucked, then yeah, I'm taking yeah. this freebie. Once I took, I walked out with pizza because they were being inattentive. And I was like, I've earned this slice. I'm just <laughs> walking out of there. And I felt like a New Yorker. It was beautiful. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. I think I have, I've been like all morality like about like, oh, people shouldn't shoplift. But I say that and it's not like I haven't stolen from the hot bar at Whole Foods. I love that. I have gone to that hot bar. I've been like, I'll just sample. And I ate it. He's so like, brave. He's questioning so brave. this friendship now. He's I like, like, do I want to know you? I've never done such a thing. Can That's I tell awesome. you the first thing I ever stole? Yes. My heart. It was, ah. It was the first thing I ever stole was a chocolate Tootsie Pop. I knew it was going to be a candy thing. Yep. That's so cute. I was four. A chocolate Tootsie Pop. Jeez, yeah. Do they even make those anymore? Yeah. It was weird. Looking back, I'm like, them. that was a weird thing that was ever made. So yeah. weird. Remember those commercials with the fucking owl? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> one, one, one. A two, two, a three. Yeah. <laughs> did either of you, did either of you lick until like try and count the licks? No. Did any of us ever lick ever? Ask the lesbian. <laughs> Hey. You guys, uh, you guys looking? You guys looking? I get in what? there, big dog. You looking or you, <laughs> you guys, boinking? You guys looking? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Someone says this one's a bit more serious, yeah. but um, hi, I'm a teenage closeted bisexual Christian male struggling with my faith and sexuality, who also has a family that I know would support me if I were able to come, if nice. I were to come out. Good. My faith is very important to me, and after wrestling with the biblical verses that allude to homosexuality, I feel that I've reached the well-founded conclusion that homosexuality is not sinful but i feel like every time i have closure on the subject and feel comfortable with my attraction to men i see someone lay out conflicting evidence and i don't feel that i will ever know what is true even though i think logically i do the strangest thing is when i see other gay people i never question if it's a sin or not but i only do it for myself because of my mm. recurring lack of trust in myself and basically everything else mm. i don't believe being gay is a th sin and i think i'm biblically correct on that but i'm too scared to be openly bisexual luckily since i am also attracted to women i could live my life closeted and not have too much of a problem but i do feel like that is denying a part of myself any thoughts well wishes or concerns also i love the pod so much and it brings me so much joy and it has entertained me for hours on end i just want to give this little dude a hug holy oh, shit the fuck up oh right my now. god you poor oh. thing sending all the vibes and all the snuggles yeah yeah and then my question oh. is like how old are you because i feel like that all gets better once you get older like I, does, I totally yeah. identify with like the whole like this is okay for other people but not for me because i don't trust myself or like apply the same rules to myself and much harsher on myself but then as you get older you're like you know what i'm pretty fucking awesome yeah. or like this is just who i am right 
what are they called? Like the Saturn return? I know that's like another little astrology but thing. Oh. But it's like once you get to like 27, 28, beyond, you're like in this new yes, phase of your yes, life. Yes, yeah. Where it's okay. like you kind of shed some part of yourself and you're right. like okay, okay, okay. embracing yourself more. Yeah. So I would then say like advice like that's definitely on the horizon that's happening. Yeah. And like. I will say, uh, I will say, take this with a grain of salt because I am not in the LGBTQ plus right. community yes. and I don't and but I will say that like I think we can all agree that you don't you are in no rush and you Absolutely. shouldn't feel rushed to come out before you're comfortable but at the same time nothing good can happen from like keeping a part of yourself hidden right yeah and then you need to agree. love yourself in your entirety yeah. I think I, yeah, I think that's fairly solid to say yeah absolutely yeah. everyone has their own journey yeah some are what, like really fast with it some take their time what yeah. i want to know is uh this individual brought up conflicting evidence that mm, made them right that made him feel um uh bad about himself i wonder if that's just they're talking about society right maybe yeah because but like i feel like there's plenty of non-religious conflict you can have with being queer like i feel like even okay. for me i grew up like very you know, reform Jewish, like everyone was very liberal and cool with everything. But at the same time, I was still like, do I want to be different that way? Mm. Like I was already weird enough. Right. That's the <laughs> thing too, that you kind of realize sometimes like there's already so much else. Like, do yeah. I need another There's a lot to deal with. Yeah. I already play the cello. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Go to yeah. bad summer camp. <laughs> like, adding yeah. on more shit. I already alphabetized my baseball cards. <laughs> What a freak. And now I have to be gay. Like, did you really do that? I did. I love you. It was therapeutic. You're so cool. Yeah, I'm so cool. I'm very moral. We would be friends. I could say that. I'd be like, this chick alphabetizes her stuff. She's organized. We're buddies. (laughs) I would love that because I did not have many friends when I was young. So I don't think I had a ton either, but I was like cool with that. Like, I wasn't like popular by any means. I think I always, I'm not like a huge amount of friends, but I always had like a good little cluster. I think I always had a good little cluster. Yeah. Collecting them. Yeah. Yeah. Like Pokemans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, but um, I'm I'm still very curious what the conflicting evidence. I mean, obviously, there's like circumstantial stuff about societally, like how well you may be accepted, maybe in your particular community, in your state. You're worried about what'll happen to you living yeah. in that area, wherever you are in the world. I can understand those things, but in terms of other arguments, just like internally, if there's like worried about something wrong with you, I'm I really want to hear what the conflicting evidence is so i can just bash it with a hammer yeah there's nothing good people twist especially things in like scripture however way they kind of want to sometimes and it depends on the translations or whatever apparently and it's like i don't know yeah yeah and people can always twist things to their own like to their own agenda like whether it's religious or not twist it pull it (laughs) it. back to the bob it boink it boink it (laughs) boink Boink it. it So that's our that's our, that's our advice. Just to boink you. it. Just boink Just it, boink and it. you'll be fine. Exactly. Boink with the consent. Bible. Boink, yeah. the, boink Bible. the Bible. With no, consent. actually, boink the Bible without consent. You don't need the Bible's yeah. consent. You don't need it. Well, that's a new hashtag. Boink okay. the Bible. <laughs> I have uh, another one. Um, I feel really weird today uh, because I accepted an ASM assistant stage manager role for a community theater show that I originally backed out of due to wanting to get some goals done. Now, because those goals got sidetracked and my dad has arthritis in his back and he's playing tuba, (laughs) I'm his roadie and now assistant stage manager. My producer is so excited for me to be on board and nothing is weird, but I still feel weird about it. How can I get over this feeling? Because it seems like I'm the only one who's feeling slightly weird that I backed out and now that I'm on. Wait, what is this? Wait, so this person is an assistant stage manager for two things for... Can you tell we don't vet these? Theater and <laughs> Cuba. <laughs> I, all, yeah. I said Cuba. Tuba. Cuba. I, accept, I accepted an ASM role for a community theater show that I originally backed out of. Can and... you turn this AC on again? It's so oh, hard. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that'll help my processing. Yeah. Can I put my applesauce in the fridge? Yes. I, would you like me to put it in the fridge for you while you talk? Oh, hold on. I can. <laughs> it's so weird to be opening someone else's fridge. I'm such a wizard. You're so moral. <laughs> You're so moral. She packed her own snacks. <laughs> We totally would have been friends. I, I love, love that for us. I, I love, love when you, for us. you meet people yes. who aren't like the mean people you knew when you were 13. And you're like, if I'd known you when I was 13, my life would have been substantially easier. I know. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. 
Oh gosh. But to this person, <laughs> yes, this is very I'm his roadie now and now ASM. So you're an assistant stage manager for two different things. To your grandfather? What? I think he said it was his dad does his oh, dad. dad. <laughs> How do you play the tuba with arthritis in your back? Jeez. Did with great difficulty. Um, yeah, I would say if, if you still have other things, you can say no to stuff. It sounds you like can, you have a problem a saying no to things. That is Which I also, yes. I have a big problem saying no to stuff. Same. It's it's difficult. So you need to practice that. I know. Yeah. That also gets better with age, but you yes. do have to practice. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Indeed. You got to say no sometimes. Sometimes there's stuff that like you have to think about, like, does this benefit me right now? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Be Very kind true. to yourself. Yeah. Give yourself the word yes. And I say, like, look at this this touring schedule. You know, make sure you plot out enough time for yourself. Yeah. So you're not overwhelmed with tuba rehearsal. I don't <laughs> even know what the fuck they They're do. They're very overwhelming tuba <laughs> rehearsals. Okay. This person says, I'm just going to get right into it. I love my sister, but I've always felt less compared to her. Oh. She was valedictorian at her high school while I just graduated. I'm going to start high school at the same school, and I really don't want to be compared to her. Sometimes I feel like she controls my life because of how much advice she gives. Ooh. I love her so much, but I feel completely worthless next to her. I would love to hear some advice if you have any. I absolutely love the pod. It helps me escape and relax for once. Oh, my gosh. Okay, my advice, become an only child. <laughs> kill her! <laughs> kill her! I'm an only child. I <laughs> not have these issues, but I am just the focus of my parents' attention, which could be even worse. But damn, that's tough. Okay, so you got into the same high school? I mean, yeah. that means like you're still awesome, you know, but also just don't compare yourself to this bitch. Mm -hmm. Which is But tough. I think that I think this individual is afraid that a he that is it a he or a she or they I think it's I think it's a I it's unclear the person. Okay, okay. This all right, this person, they're they're going to high school. I think that they're worried about getting compared not involuntarily by other people in the high school who were aware that their sister was uh, valedictorian and all this other stuff. Oh. So I think it's sort of like they can't escape it. Are they going to a new school? And that will help kind of like new. No, it's the oh, same it's high the same school. Same high school but as it's the older sister. people, you know, it's like a different yeah, age group. Yeah, bigger pond. You'll like yeah. meet new like groups yeah, yeah. and stuff. Join different clubs and shit. Yeah. yeah. We're like three like PTA moms on here. We're like, I yeah, 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 yeah. join a club in also, the theater club. I loved the yes. theater club here. Oh, yeah. I think there's also a chance, I think a very strong chance that this person, this is a lot what they're building up in their head mm -hmm. and people may not give a flying fuck oh, in the best God. way possible. Yes. No one will give a, I really yeah. think that's. You got to find your own thing. Like if, if your sister's valedictorian, maybe you're really good at like uh, knitting. Or like I've always wanted to know how to knit. Knit, knit. It seems cool. I'm I don't afraid have the of starting knitting because I know I would love it. <laughs> You're like I'm just You'd gonna be, be so good. At it. You I would, would be sit so here good. all day with your cute yes. little plants. And your I would little play. I would have yes. something. <laughs> yeah, he's the old my grandma. Oh like. yeah, no, I love any kind of repetitive motion with my hands. Anything to do with patterns, I would just mm. I would zone out so well. Have you tried embroidery? Never tried embroidery. <laughs> Have you tried embroidery? I actually did. One of my neighbors was this cute old lady in North Jersey, and she taught me how to do a little embroidery. Oh, I love that. I know. I love old people. I love Yeah. Yeah. Make friends with some old people, kid. That is That yeah. will really help. Yeah. They're older than your sister. They don't give a fuck about it. Yeah. Also, old people, like, they have this, like, the neuroses you feel when you're hanging out with someone your age. Old people have just seen everything. So there's not a lot you could say to a very old person that would have upset them. Yeah, true. and I swear very to you, they true. do not give a shit about you. They care about their knee. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, being able to get around a little more. They're not worried about oh, yeah. Yeah. this little whippersnapper. I have an older, I have a friend who's, uh, my one friend who's an old lady is 85. And she told me, that I, sometimes oh. you stop being able to have an orgasm in your 70s, oh, gosh. which is like kind of crazy to think about, right? Didn't but, happen to her? Yeah. That's oh, a good it didn't happen. Up. Yeah, it happened. Oh, yeah. goodness. So she can't. Yeah, she can't. She can't right now. I'm, I think she got some surgery to help her like lower body. But uh, the poor thing, you know, I feel I feel <laughs> for her. But it's like when that happens to you, there's nothing you could say that's going to be like. They're not gonna be like, oh, your sister is so much better than you. Like, yeah. so just make friends with somebody. I old. can't come, kid. <laughs> <laughs> make friends with someone who can't come. That's what you have to do. There if they can is. come, throw them away. There it is. There it is. That's but amazing. All right. Well, we have one more. I think we handled that one very well. I, I, think, that was, I think that's one we handled we did great. very well. We did yeah. great. Okay. Kid, I hope you feel less alone. You're Indeed. Great. You're, You're great. You're awesome. great. You're golden. You're alpine. Um, 
Hi, I've been very gloomy lately. Well, gloomy is an understatement. I don't feel right at home. Home life has been awful since coming back from my first year of college. I realized in that time truly how much was wrong in both my home life and how much I am constantly made to minimize my feelings at home for convenience. Mm. My brother needs a lot of attention. So usually that means I have to roll with the punches. My brother... Uh, uh, let's us know my brother is autistic and nonverbal and he oh. has a lot of other medical needs and just not and just not have needs and just not have needs basically um at college i felt like people recognized my needs however mm. it isn't the same with uh just messaging them even with my boyfriend when i tell him about all of my feelings throughout my days here the response is minimal but i feel bad asking him to do more when there isn't much he can do when we're across the country from one another I just hate that I can't tell him everything without it being too much for him because he's an empath. He wouldn't call himself this, but he's very, very emotionally aware at all times and can only handle so much emotional stimulus without being tired. I just hate that I take energy out of him and no one else will really listen to my problems. I have... Um uh, I have, uh, oh yeah, I have a therapist, but I'm not in a position where I can switch a therapist right now. He's older and he doesn't exactly understand my problems, but he's a good listener. Well, then he's not a good therapist. Yeah. It's like yeah. okay-ish, but it's not a good, okay. Right. Um, sorry for dumping all of this here. Never no, apologize. Never. This yeah. is all good. I just don't know where else to go, and I'm so sick of waiting for the school year to begin. As I'm typing this, I have 45 more days to wait. Love the pod. You are in, this, okay, first off, it is, um, Siblings of kids that have uh, either a disability or a neurodivergence, whatever it is, they get ignored I so much imagine. in families. Yeah. Yeah. It is so, it is not talked about enough. And well, first off, you need a different therapist. I think you, well, you're you good on you about, for having a therapist. Yes. Yeah, that is yeah, a very yeah, great for sure. Set. Good on you for having a therapist. You need a different one. Mm. If they're not giving good advice, but they're nice that they're a listener, they need to be giving you good advice on how to manage what you're feeling. Yeah. And, and then also, uh, the boyfriend thing is tough. It's tough. Get another, get another boyfriend, get like a couple. Like, I feel like people should really start, yeah. get a harem of dudes that you can talk to, including the therapist. <laughs> Definitely. No, when, when in doubt, get a harem. When in doubt, when get in a doubt. harem. <laughs> <laughs> get harem because this other one's across the country get one that's down the street you know diversify a little bit you know bit. rappers do it girl in every city exactly Why can't you? boys in, in different every area city. codes yeah boys yeah. in every area code gotta catch them all <laughs> I will say I can feel listener I can feel you like kind of minimizing your feelings I was hearing in that the too. submission you're like oh my boyfriend can't handle a lot of emotional stimulus that's on him um, yeah I mean I also don't believe in being an in the in the term empath i think I it's bullshit and i think it's like and it's like someone who's like so empathetic that they can't even hear your problems like think how cir uh circuitous that is yeah like, i i have a feeling he would hate to hear that yeah as well yeah and i guess like there are people who like feel things very deeply yeah. i consider myself one of those people but i never be like i'm an empath you cannot tell because the irony is like oh you cannot tell me your problems because i love hearing them so much yeah it's like yeah. i'll just relate so deep i'll just relate so deeply that uh yeah it's kind of like my, my girlfriend this guy left her job recently by being like you know this other organization i'm going to actually reminds me a lot of the work we do at this company so it's actually my love for this company that is making me leave this company whatever bro you're getting more money just fucking go yeah just fucking <laughs> say it right? i want to hear this shit yeah. so like i don't know like don't don't minimize your needs even in like, I get being in a house where, like, you had to put yourself second, but, like, just try and pick up on those little even vocal patterns or, like, written patterns of you putting yourself down in some way because it's it's natural to do, but the more you pick up on it, the more you'll realize, like, oh, my needs are valid and, like, yeah, yeah. my boyfriend should be doing shit for me. Otherwise, I'll get a hair up. Yeah. Seriously. It also, yeah. uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but it sounds like she's not even telling her boyfriend what she needs. I think that she's anticipating that it'll be too much for him, so not bringing it up. I do that all the time. Also saying, <laughs> also saying there's not much he can do because yeah. he's like a part right now, so commu figure out exactly what you want from your boyfriend and then communicate that to yes. him. Oh, and then it's scary how true that is. Yeah, yeah I know. It's, it like, is scary. I'll, yeah. I'll like have a whole conversation in my head. <laughs> it's like, oh, we didn't really talk about this, did we? <laughs> Just got to the conclusion without you yeah it's like yikes uh 
Yeah, I love just making it up. Like, making it up. You know, mm. you should have said this. Really? You never told me you wanted that. Right. Unhealthy. Yeah. My other solutions are super, like, superficial, but hobbies. Like, I don't know where she is in the U.S. or the world, but maybe well, she can, like... doing things you enjoy. Yeah. Finding things you enjoy Take and keep... Take up surfing. Like, yeah. it's the summer. 45 days? Like, yeah. I don't know. You join a surfing class. Yes. Yeah. 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 Like, go to rock your hair. Bowling. I don't know. Do something crazy. It's like, you know what? If you feel like you need to minimize your needs, not only don't minimize your needs, but make new needs and fill them. Mm. Yeah. I that's need a good... to surf. Surf. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? You're in Iowa? Make water. <laughs> Iowa? What do they have in Iowa? Is that the potato? No, that's Idaho. Corn. Yeah. Corn. Corn, corn. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. corn people. Well, yeah. I love cornfields. I got to say it. I love cornfields. Oh, yeah. I love, love a corn maze. Love a, <laughs> love a corn maze. Yeah. yeah. Love and it. That would actually scare me a little bit. Really? I think it's because of Halloween. Don't they have those? Yeah. Yeah, they do. I think yeah. I love just are you Are you not like a Halloween person? I don't think I am. But it's not like I don't like it. I just never. I'm not like a to... Halloween person either. Yeah. But I do love. But I like I love fall. I love yeah, autumn. Autumn is beautiful. Oh, yeah. I love the leaves and stuff. I can see both yeah. of you being a real. Oh, my God. What's her name? Hot uh, apple cider. Autumn. A real, real autumn cunts. What that's, they, the, <laughs> that's me. What do they call Caitlin Covington? Autumn Who? girl or something? Wow, Who the, I'm who's so Caitlin out of Covington? touch. It's like that meme of the girl, and she's wearing like the flannel, the cardigan. She's drinking the Starbucks. Oh. She's got the, cur the curly hair. She's oh, wearing big the scarf. Yeah, big she's wearing scarf. a hat too. Yes, white yes. girls love hats sometimes. <laughs> like, really big yeah, hat. It's love. very floppy on the sides. Yeah, the yeah. floppy hat. Vibe. Floppy hats. Mm, yeah, a flaccid hat. Yeah, I could totally fit into that. It's like hot girl autumn, or so I'll find the name. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like Alpine that hot girl autumn. autumn. Oh my autumn. And the word of the pod is alpine. Alpine, yeah. alpine monocle. Yeah. I swear to God. Wow. <laughs> well, this has been an incredible episode. We an have incredible. one final segment for you. Hit it. Are you ready for this shit? I'm excited. You're like, you're like, give, bring it on. Give me more. Give me more. Fuck yes. Crazy thumbs. Like crazy thumbs. <laughs> crazy thumbs. <laughs> That's a good hobby. Crazy thumbs. Take crazy up crazy. You, Take you up crazy thumbs. You you feel like your Learn needs aren't being met. I feel like that's a class. And a skill. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just on like cave walls, they would do. Puppetry is an age old art. Yeah, they definitely did it in the caves. It's so stupid. That reminds me of something I actually found that was really interesting, which is that there's like a cave painting in like France where there are lots of these grooves mm -hmm. like carved into the cave wall. And there were like, lit up with like all of these scientists lights they were trying to figure out what they're for because they weren't drawings they were really weird until they turned all of their lights off and they realized that uh yeah. the natural light would cause moving images in these grooves so if you think about it going into a dark room and watching a movie is one of the oldest traditions we have and that's how they made the joker that's beautiful. It's tale is oldest time. Tale is oldest yeah. time. Jesus. I love that. I love that so much. Filmmaking. Final Filmmaking. segment. Final segment. Final segment. We want to know how you think you're perceived by other people. Oh, gosh. And then we'll tell you how we perceive you. Oh, gosh. And don't worry about it, because we wouldn't have brought you on the pod if we were like, you're. well, like I you're think a you're a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. You're a cunt just First like time Barbara. For everything. Yeah, First yeah, time yeah. for everything. <laughs> yeah. That, I feel like people are like, are you ever going to bring on someone you hate? I'm like, yeah. I, why would I have an hour and 30 minute conversation with someone I hate? That sounds painful. Yeah. Um, yeah okay. Yeah, I think I'm perceived as I, I'm a Virgo rising. So totally. I totally see that for you, actually. <laughs> He's like, I still Lucas understand what this gonna kill himself. Up. But like very... Um, Organized, responsible people tend to say, like, I feel safe with you, Sabrina. I'm like, what does that mean? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. So in general, like, oh, Sabrina, like, I'm like the designated driver of a friend, mm. I feel. But then at the same time, once you get to know me, I'm crazy. So, yeah. I can't wait to see that. I want to mm. see the crazy come out. Oh, yeah. It gets insane. I don't know. What's a good example of that? I don't know. Like, like rage. <laughs> like, party wise or like being spontaneous like road trip it let's do it so i think i'm perceived as foremost being that type of more responsible person but mm. underneath that it's like you can see oh she can be insane maybe yeah yeah i'm sorry i'm looking at this tinker 
poster and I realized you didn't change Benedict Cumberbatch. Is that because his name is already so yeah. extra? You <laughs> nailed it. <laughs> yeah. I was like, his name's awesome. already stupid. Like yeah. every yeah. other name. Yeah. It's like, you we're going to leave that one just you, can't, you can't. You can't improve on perfection. You can't. I wonder if his nickname is Eggs. You ever think about that? That's a You've great idea. You've blown my mind. That's a great idea. If you idea. see him when you're over in England, can you say, yeah. hey, does anyone call if you eggs? If I see eggs? him. When I run into him, I'll be like, yo, eggs. And I'll just see if he turns. See, just, that's a great way to test it. Yeah, you know, you know, Tina has that bit about Benedict Cumberbatch. She's like, I'll, I'll pay someone $100 if you could moan the name Benedict. <laughs> but now I think you take it a little further. It's like, can you moan the name eggs? <laughs> oh. Eggs. eggs fertilize mine. Eggs <laughs> fertilize my eggs. That's literally epic. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I for one, Sabrina, I think I liked that when we first met. I feel like sometimes there's that thing where like comics who have like crossed paths before but not officially met will like pretend not to know each other. Oh, I hate that. And I appreciate <laughs> that you didn't do that. You were we were immediately both like, hey, what's up? Oh my god, it's you. And it was like so nice. And I just felt immediately. Like safe is a good word for it, but not because I just feel like you're responsible because I feel like you're not judgy. Yay. Yeah. I think that's, yeah. I could imagine judge. you judging something that's like, um, like bad. Like mm -hmm. I could imagine like if, if, you know, you see someone beat the shit out of someone, you'd be like, well, that's bad. You wouldn't be like, what's the situation? But like in terms of like interpersonal interactions, I don't think you're like judgy and I like that about you. And I could, I like immediately met you. I was like, we're going to be friends. Like no question. So I love it. that made me really happy. Yay. And uh, I mean, the big thing that stuck out to me when I first met you was that you ordered whiskey and said you were going to kick back with there will be blood. So I think you have a lot of layers to you. Oh yeah. <laughs> I think you got layers on layers. I do that's have layers your, on That's deep. your kickback yeah. movie. <laughs> I will also say that you are like a uniquely generous spirit in yeah. comedy. And it's also something that I really agree with my mom on is that you can judge someone very well by their pets and just the energy that their pets give off. And yeah. the moment I met your dog, I was like, oh, no, this is a very good person <laughs> good who, who oh, has this I dog. Oh, I love that. It was my like, parents yeah. will love that, too. What's the vibe of your dog? Like Sweetest bougie dog. but super sweet. Oh yeah. Like she's so spoiled though, since my parents have had her in Charlotte. They just took yeah. her down to their full on house and she loves it there. Now she has to be fed. You have to hold the bowl. <laughs> oh. I swear to God. Oh, that's bad. That's she bad. She sleeps in the I bed. I take back everything I said. <laughs> no, no, she's no. She's a bitch. <laughs> She's a little crazy. That's hilarious. Yeah, oh but she's God. but then like you can't be mad because she's so sweet and like oh. she's so yeah. so happy to see you all the time. You and, also like, did so something. Playful. You also did something very unique at I think I'm not sure if it was open mics or the shows that you did, but you brought hot apple cider. Oh I yeah, did that. yeah. And I was like, who does this? And I was doing Aperol spritzes when it was hot. That was oh, fun. I love that. Yeah, yeah so I guess good. I am happy. really generous. Sometimes it exhausts generous. me a little. I love bit. that you're <laughs> accepting it. Yeah, guess I'm, I'm pretty, pretty sick. cool. Guess I'm Kinda cool. sick. Yeah. Because some people sit in that chair, they're like, oh, whatever. Thanks for the compliment. And I get it because I'm the same because I, I like, it's hard to take compliments sometimes. But I like that you're just like, yeah, I'm pretty cool. Yeah. Because you are. And that's about being in your 30s. You get up there yeah, and you're you like, you know what? Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. oh, no. You kind of just realize, like, it, it's me. I, yeah. I'm getting through this life. I'm going to be 30 are in helping two years me. and it's making me, it's making me nervous. But it's I feel great. like once I get there, I'm going to have so much fun. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, uh, I don't know, trying to get on a yacht. Usually to get there, you got to walk through, you know, like the little board or something. Or you have to get on a little dinghy yeah. to get to it. And you're like, this is a little treacherous. And that's but once your you're 20s. on the yacht. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's your 30s. And I feel like right now <laughs> is the best time to be in your 30s because like, like teenagers and 20 year olds are like so anxious right so now. So anxious. Like all these little things. It's like, oh, you little mush. Just like, I know. It's okay. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's our advice to everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, one last question before we end. If yes. you can judge someone by their pets, what did you think of Roscoe when you met him? My parents' cat. Oh, he's a sweetheart. Yeah. A yeah, cat nice named cat. Roscoe? He yeah. like That's cute. such a Rottweiler name. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's a fucking brat. He my parents feed him deli meat turkey. <laughs> I'm obsessed. Nice. I'm gonna show you this, this video. This is a my Jewish bad. cat. This is a intensely Jewish cat. Yeah. I want to meet 
a Jewish cat. Yeah, your you'll parents need are here. Yeah, they live in they live in Manhattan. So. Okay, can yeah. I be friends? She has with your really parents? cool parents. Yes, of course. I'm really making cool this thing to make friends with everyone's parents. Like Rachel Lander, I like love her parents. <laughs> you met her yeah. parents. Oh, I love Jewish yeah. parents. Yeah. Oh like, my god, yeah, you're gonna love you're gonna love my parents. Okay, are they excited. also tall? Yes. Yeah. Her dad's tall. Her mom's yeah. Her mom's still relatively tall. I'd be I'd be shocked she, if her parents were like five three and she yeah. was that tall. I'd be shocked. That every time be... I see her, she grows. I swear to God. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like it's been another. You know, you know what's funny is that every almost a lot of times that I see Lee Land, she'll look at me. She's like, "Did you get taller?" And I'm like, "No." I thought that same thing though. When I, saw you. I just exist as shorter in people's memories. I don't yeah. know why that is. Honestly, when we were doing the podcast on Zoom, and then when we started doing it in person again, I was like, "Oh, he's tall." Maybe it's when you do your videos and you're in the bathroom. I don't see your legs. I guess. <laughs> yeah. But Lee is someone who I like met before the pandemic who I like. She was like one of my closest friends in comedy. I'm like, dude, you know this. That's you know, really ever, I, I, nothing's happening. We're no growth You've is happening. You've seen my limbs. You've seen them all. <laughs> my limbs. Uh, you've seen my spindly little body. Yeah. <laughs> What's, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are yeah. we doing, folks? What anyway. Uh, Sabrina, like, Sabrina, you have been amazing. Is there anything you would like to plug and promote? Socials, shows, what's going on? Oh, gosh. Not really. I'm just trying to uh, get back into being a person. I don't know. Like I'm trying to like post more and like be more like in the world. So just uh, look out for that. <laughs> Hell yeah. Sabrina being out there more. I love that, and I'm here for that. Nice. Thanks. You're a, you're a person. You're all people listening to it. You are good. I'm sure maybe there's a dog or two listening, but <laughs> if there isn't, there are people too. Thank you it's all creepy. for listening. We are two nosy meerkats, and um, we'll never see you again. Just kidding. We'll see you Toodaloo. next time. Toodaloo. Deuces.